What's up YouTube? Yo gang, welcome back to the channel. We are in the beautiful island of Bimini in the Bahamas. Check out this scenery behind me. If you have not checked out my Bimini healing hall video, please make sure that you do. We had a world of fun in that. But here today we are talking about Bahamian style comforters. So stick around so you can check the preparation and we'll be right back. Take it on girl. Got it? You get me straight? Right away. You good, you good, you good. Fresh comb. Fresh comb. Ready for the pour. This is how it's done. Oh, I know you One more time. That's the final.
this is Bahamian style conch fritters. What is in the, the bowl, as you guys can see when we started the whole process in the beginning, we have an onion, red pepper, green pepper, we have some celery, we have some tenderized conch. You wanna make sure that your, your conch is very tender when you are making this meal. We have two pounds of flour. We have 16 ounces, no, uh, 24 ounces of water and a tablespoon and a half of baking soda, baking powder, not soda. So you mix it up and this is what you get. You want to make sure that it's not too runny, that you have a quite thick consistency, that it pretty much just rolls off of the spoon because if not, it's gonna be a mess. Now, conch fritters come in different style. You have the small, the flat conch fritters and you have the conch balls or whatever, but here in the islands of the Bahamas, we make conch fritters in the shape of balls or circles. We have our grease and our pot getting hot because I'm excited. If you're not sure or don't know what conch is, conch is the snail that lives in this shell. This beautiful shell that you can put to your ear and hear the ocean, this is what the conch lives in. Okay, now all you need for this is salt to taste, and I also included a scotch bonnet without the seeds. So, here it is. You have your conch fritter batter. Very simple. You combine all of your ingredients, like I said earlier, and you just mix it until you have a nice, thick batter consistency. Our grease should be, our oil should be hot. And you just wanna spoon them in like that. And judge the size that you're looking for. Make them as big or as little as you like. They are going to get nice and fluffy. Let's put a few more in here. I want punk in all of my bites. See, they're already floating. Let's put another one in here. You don't have to disturb anything until they start to float. And once they start to float and they get golden brown, you will just flip them over. Just a little FYI. This is the island where my mother was born. My father is Cuban and my mother is Bahamian. This is Bimini. Bimini is a very small island. There are many, many islands in the Bahamas. There are 700 islands and Bimini is just one of the beautiful islands in the Bahamas. Bimini is seven miles long, half mile wide, and we have a world of things to do here. I absolutely love Bimini, absolutely. Okay, everybody is floating and we're just gonna flip them over. This big old spider ain't helping. Let's flip it over. Look at this water. Now this is not somewhere you would actually come to actually swim, but I just want to give you the view of the point of Bimini. This is the farthest point of the North Bimini Island. Yes, you do have some people that come in and snorkel. We have the pumpkin ship right here at the distance. And we have a lot of nice fish and, and corals and, and, and just, marine life that has inhabited that 
sunken ship area, but there's many beaches. There's seven miles of beach that you can just enjoy on this island. It is absolutely amazing. I mean, I don't have to say much. Just see for yourself. Okay, we flipped it over and they are nice and golden brown. Now you want to make sure that they're cooked well in the inside. If not, they're going to be doughy and you don't want a doughy converter. But look at all those peppers and onions and mm, goodness. Okay, we got a couple that we can take out. Well, let's leave it for, I want it to be golden brown. Okay, take a look at this. Look how beautiful they are. You want to put it into a lined dish so that they can drain. And just repeat the process. So we're going to put a few more in. Had a bigger spoon. How is everyone doing today? I am doing great. Thank you for asking. I hope you try this recipe for my southern states. I know for everybody in the north, my northern states, it's probably going to be a little hard to find conch, but if you can find some, Please try it. You will definitely enjoy it. So while we do this and let these finish up, we're going to make us some conch sauce so that we can dip these beautiful conch fritters. Okay, the sauce is quite simple. You're going to need some mayonnaise. Now this you can judge definitely for yourself. This is not an exact recipe. You're gonna need some ketchup. And your hot sauce, as hot as you'd like it. You're also going to need a lime. Gonna squeeze that lime into this sauce. Simple, slam bam, and it is delicious. Stir it up. And here you have some conch sauce. Stir it till it's smooth. Like so. Just give it a little taste. Very nice. Okay, let's see what's going on in the pot. Okay, everybody is doing very well in here. Let's just give everyone a flip. They're nice and fluffy, as you can tell. These are going to be so good. Ooh, it is hot. But I had to share this view with you guys. It is smoking out here. Okay, so look at the seagull right here. You see him? He just caused me to waste all of my conch sauce. We're not making no more conch sauce, but you, you must don't know. You must don't know. And he is so, I mean, 
adamant. He wants to get up here so bad. But he don't know this grease heart. He do not know this grease heart. Okay, look how pretty they look. They are about ready to come out. And we are gonna take these out. Look at that. Bahamian style comforters. Got a spider and still losing it. Look at that jaw. How beautiful do they look? Let me put this down and bring over. I'm out here in all of this hot sun trying to get y'all a nice scenery and these two, they are just causing all type of havoc. But anyway, here are my Bahamian style comforters. This is all of the sauce I have left, but we are gonna try it. Mmm. Did y'all hear that crunch? Ah, ah, my ass. I'm gonna give him a piece. I'm gonna give him a piece too. All right. So everybody's happy now. Yo gang, they are delicious. Thank you guys for joining me. I am so glad I was able to bring you here over to the Bimini Island and just share this beautiful site with you. If you have not checked out www.yokegang.com, make sure that you do. Check out a gun bag patch or even a Yoke Gang t-shirt. Support the channel. I thank you all for everything that you have done and everything that you guys are doing. But I'm sorry, I gotta let you go. It's time to eat. I love y'all for life. Peace. Oh.